Hey guys, welcome to another video for Epo. The Epo game that I'm uh, making, I, I made actually a massive overhaul the other day, uh, yesterday, last night, and I upgraded a lot of things, I changed a lot of things. Just wanted to share with, with, uh, with you guys a few updates that I did. First, look at the overview of the, the boxer card. Um, so on top, you're gonna see the boxer name, um, I mean the, the card that you're messing with, which is a boxer card. You're gonna see the style, the default style in Fighter. And there are other cards called stance cards that you can use to change the fighter's default stance. So for Epo, it's in Fighter. So you can use other stances like um, in uh, Outboxer, uh, South Pole. You can use things like uh, Hybrid. You can use things like Turtle, Brawler. Uh, there's so many, I can't even think of them right now. But there's, a, there's about 20 stances you can choose from. And if you go down here, you can see the portrait of the boxers in the middle. Um, and then we have the name of the boxer, Ipo Makinochi. Makinochi. Um, and then below that, you see it says RKT. That pretty much just means the series that the character is in. So this is Ipo during the Rookie King tournament. That's what that stands for. And then this is a new box that I added. It's footwork. Uh, it's kind of the movement box so the game now before we continue with this i want to show you guys um that the game now is completely different i am adding movement to the game i just gotta locate where my stop button is oh there it is so okay so right now this is what the new board looks like so i'm gonna explain to you guys this before we go back to the other card before we go back to the card um so the the new thing that was added is this grid that you see here so uh, it's a five times four grid i couldn't really fit more than that i wish i could have fit five and five but it's a four and five grid um i might change the grid this might be a a test for now i was having a little bit of a hard time making it but right now this is what the grid this is what it looks like when i make it too big it's hard to really um adjust and get the squares in all right so um each box will start in a corner neutral corner and then from there you can use um each character has a plus one movement or they may have a plus two Epo has a plus one uh so when you saw footwork that would mean that Epo can move now let's go back to the car and i can show you guys what i mean okay so where you see uh plus one footwork that means the maximum uh amount that Epo can walk i can walk uh move towards um and then forward dash will be like a sprint so you see plus two that means you can move two spaces and then the slash two en that means it'll take two energy to commit to that um walking regularly doesn't take any energy but if you want to go a little faster than that it does um i'm thinking maybe moving should take maybe one energy but i feel like it's gonna cost a lot of issues so i think footwork plus one should be no energy if you guys think differently you can let me know in the comments below and then we have sliding left, sliding right. So if we go back to the grid, let's go over here. Sliding left or right, you would go uh, one, two, three squares to the left or to the right. So wherever you are on the map. Um, I wish I could make this map a little bigger. I honestly do want to make it a little bigger. Before when I made it bigger, it actually crashed the game. So that's why it was the size it is now. But I'm going to try to see if I can make it a little bigger. Maybe add a little bit more squares to it. I would like for it to be like 8 times 8 or something like that. So that's something I'm going to work on today when I get home. Um, but this is where we are now. This is... We're still working on Epo here. So these are all his commands. His movement commands. And we have that he's a right hand. He's right handed. Um, then below that we have power and the defense. And then right there, JP, that's the country. So every boxer has a different country they represent. So they're going to be stadium cards in the game. And the stadiums, um, sometimes if you're in Japan, you get a buff if you're Japanese. If you're in America, you get a buff if you're American. And then we have the head, HP, body. That's still the same. Then we have the, abil the abilities on the bottom. SP finisher, turtle stance. Then we have um, his energy, 28 EN energy. And let's go, that's the field. And over here you can see I added two new things to the move section. This is Deadly Smash. 
I added um, mid outside that box right there. It says mid outside. That pretty much tells you where in the grid you can use um, your move. So if um, let's say um, the top square right here, let's say Epo's there and Sendo is right below him, the pink that's inside. Let's say Epo is there and Sendo is right on this green one that's outside. Let's say Epo is in the green one up here and then he's um, Sendo's here, let's say, and Epo is here, then that would be mid. So mid is adjacent, um, inside is right next to Oregonto, and outside is a space away. That's how I'm making it work so far. But this is why I want more space too, because it's going to feel. So it can feel more strategic if there's more room. So right now there's not that much room, but I'm working on expanding the ring. Um, so that is, here are some cards. Here's uh, Den Zero, it's only inside. There's no decay rate. The decay rate means if you use at a certain rate, it might um, make the move weaker. So for example, dashing, um, dashing straight, if used mid, it decays it by two times power. If used outside, it'll be better because this move needs to charge up and dash towards the opponent. So I'm sorry guys for all the background noise I'm outside right now. So I'll make this quick. And I added some cards to help with the movement like Speed Hell. So if you use it in your main phase, it'll help you draw. But if you're using your battle phase, it'll help you move four squares anywhere on the grid. You got other ones that do the same draw phase, but their battle thing is different like three squares. This one was two. Um, they have other cards like Speed Kills. That has two abilities. One of them is movement. The other one's dice related. Then you have Dash. And again, they all do different things for movement. These are just all movement cards. And I think, okay, let's go. All right, so that was, that's custom boxes I'm thinking about adding to the game. Oh, that's not important. Um, okay, so this, all right, so this goes here. All right, so this is what the game looks like now. So um, I added standees, as you can see, you have the Eple standee over there. It looks pretty dope. Um, so this is what the game looks like when it's in action in Tabletop Simulator. You have the standee standing, and then you have your base card. Your card tells you everything you need to know about your character. And the standee goes around the ring and engages with the other character, the other player that's going to be playing with you. And then you have your move deck on here. You have your um, you have your main deck, which is blue deck. You have the move deck, which is the red deck. And then you see all the way in the corner, that is your item deck. And then you have the timer. The timer has been updated. So guys, this game is still updating. I'm still adding updates. I'm still working on it. Um, let me know below uh, what you guys think. If you guys do want to join the Discord, I will add it in the description below. Thank you for watching. Take care.